welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a flawless airbrushed base I'm gonna be focusing on blending brushes products I'm not saying you should go out and get these products if you do not have them I'm gonna be showing you how to work with the products you have with the products I have I hope this makes sense also I'm gonna be doing like a really nice eye look hopefully I'm not sure what eye look I want to go for but I know I want to go for something smoky because I'm just being drawn to smoky looks so if you want to see how this video goes down carry on watching and let's just get right into it so we are gonna start off with priming this is getting chaotic already but I'm gonna use my Fenty soft matte primer I have the true matte one I just haven't been able to get through the soft matte one it's almost finished though it's an amazing primer it works really well if your skin is not so 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 oily you can use it I'm using my Huda Beauty concealer in the shade toasted almond I'm gonna use that to conceal the bottom part of my brows I'm just gonna blend it out with my deluxe crease brush this brush is from real techniques and it's flexible but dense and it's just really able to you know blend out corners especially under the brows where you need to be precise about blending I obviously do not like swipe the brushes when I'm using them I like to gently tap to spread out the product and you know blend it out as smoothly as possible so you want to do that you don't want to swell the product on your skin because it's going to create streaks which is obviously not the goal you don't want to have like streaky or like patchy base because if you swipe the product it's something that's on your skin so if you swipe it it's gonna leave a part of your skin more concentrated with products than the other which obviously is going to make it patchy that's what patchy looks like I don't know if I can show you guys but I hope this is focusing but if I uh, swirl the brush like this on my skin I don't know if you can see but like there's a patch like there's a patch right there and that's not the goal so what you want to do is to just keep tapping on the products so you just want to keep tapping on the product you don't want to swirl you want to tap also if you're using a matte concealer or foundation you want to blend out as soon as you apply it because leaving it to sit on your face is going to create patches when you're trying to blend it out because it's going to dry down and blending it out is going to be very difficult so obviously if you're using a matte product you want to make sure it's blended out as soon as it's applied so that you know it doesn't leave streaks on your skin before i go in and start to blend i'm gonna put this out there this is a beauty blender a makeup sponge a makeup blending sponge I love using sponges to absorb excess products to do excess blending to set my face also sometimes to push in setting spray into my skin a lot of people like to use beauty blenders to blend the entire faces I definitely feel like brushes are more my thing but if you feel like beauty blenders are your thing you do best with blending when it comes to beauty blenders or makeup sponges in general if you're using one sponge for your entire face to do foundation concealer contour setting and all those things you want to have a paper towel close to you so that you keep squeezing in the excess products into it because I realized that if you do not push the excess products into the paper towel your makeup is gonna look really really cakey because you're gonna have so much products built in in here and it's not necessarily the best thing especially if you use a lot of liquids and then you go in with powder to set it just looks really weird in my opinion so I'm gonna start off with foundation I'm using the Huda 
Beauty Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations. I'm always using it. A tip here is whatever foundation you're using, you want to shake it up. I always stick it out of my videos. I often use two pumps of foundation. This foundation is very full coverage. Two pumps is enough for me. And I go in with a tiny brush. You don't necessarily need to do this, but I feel like your makeup applies best when you do this. Also, this foundation is matte. It dries down fast, so you want to work with it fast. This brush is the Evita Joseph uh, Precision Concealer Brush. I just spread out the foundation evenly on my skin so that some parts of my face doesn't have more product than others it just gives me like an even base sometimes if the foundation is liquidy I just pour it straight onto my face but I still use my fingers or a brush to you know spread it out like this so that blending the product out is going to be easier I also love using the morphe m439 brush it's dense it blends out foundation very very well I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the product as you can see I'm not swelling the foundation on my skin also I'm blending it out as soon as I applied it because this foundation dries down very fast so to avoid any patchy situations you just want to blend out the foundation um, as soon as you apply it a lot of people say oh some foundations are like patchy and whatnot the reason why they look patchy or the reason why it's difficult to work with matte foundations is that you wait too long to blend it out and then it, it just messes everything up so once the foundation comes into contact with your skin you want to make sure you're blending it out this brush is one of my favorite brushes i also have the real techniques buffing brush also great for applying foundation the real techniques aspect face brush also great for applying foundation the cvl beauty um, foundation brush the color box cosmetics pro cb20 brush the evita joseph x annette b foundation brush great 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 for applying foundation i also got the real techniques insta pop face brush for my clients kits i got multiple of those brushes because of how angled they are they just give a very very smooth base so i went in with my damp beauty blender when i say damp i mean i put it um under running water squeeze up the excess and then squeeze it in a paper towel and then you have it damp i go all over my face with this i am picking up any excess products on my face making sure my face is smooth because one thing a beauty blender or a makeup up sponge does is to pick up excess so you find that when you are using beauty blenders or makeup sponges you use so much more products if i use two pumps for my entire face if i'm using a beauty blender or a makeup sponge i will use probably two and a half or three because as i'm applying the sponge is sucking up the product mind you it gives like a, a very seamless base but you just end up using so much product one thing that you want to um, avoid is applying too much foundation too much concealer too much powder that you're gonna look really cakey so i find that when people say a product is cakey i feel like they use way too much sometimes i use way too much concealer and i'm like oh my god i look cakey today it happens to the best of us so it's really just using less is more or using as much foundation as you need because foundation is really just for coverage and unifying your base so you just want to use two pumps that's the most that i use highlighting i'm gonna be using my Huda beauty overachiever concealer and my Too faced born this way concealer i like it really bright under eye so i love using very light concealers under my eye this one is more for concealing um rather than highlighting even though it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone is literally just one shade lighter than my skin tone when it comes to this foundation or this concealer range that is so i'm gonna put the very light concealer into the innermost corners of my eye just like right here i'm gonna do same to this side When I tell you I am in love with this applicator, it's so cooling and it's just really relaxing. I love it. I'm gonna apply my Bond This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Butterscotch.
For contouring, I'm gonna use my Tanto from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade medium. I'm gonna be applying it with my Evita Joseph Cream Contour Brush. I'm just gonna dip into it and, you know, put that onto the high point of my cheekbones as well as my forehead, you know, the perimeter of my forehead. And then a little bit on my chin. I do not really like bringing the products here because blending it out is a challenge. Sometimes I don't blend it all the way out and it just looks like I have a dark streak here when I go out and it's really embarrassing. I don't like it at all. If you use a matte concealer, a matte contour, you wanna blend that out first. You don't want matte products sitting on your face too long because patchy, 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 no complete red flag so don't do that the Huda Beauty concealer and Too Faced concealer gives me a little bit more room to work because they're not very matte so um, it just gives me time to play with other products on my face by the way this brush is from Morphe It's the Morphe E4 brush I'm using that to blend out my contour as you can see I am not swirling I am literally just patting on my skin and just you know blending out the products you know even though i didn't put products here i have products on my brush that i'm spreading out to just give me like a softer contour on my jawline i usually like a stronger contour on my chin because the double chin is coming in <laughs> my favorite brush this is my real techniques contour brush this is the 206 brush so i'm gonna use that to blend out my highlight as you can see i am patting the product on my skin it just gives the best finish Now obviously you can use a beauty blender to blend out. I am more of a brush girl. Some people swear by beauty blenders and sponges. Yeah, they work. They are great. But I I love brushes. I use a combination but I use more brushes than sponges. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out what's under my eye. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender I love to use beauty blenders under my eyes because I don't like piling too much products there so this does blending and absorbing most of the product not most some of the product so um, it's kind of like killing two beds with one stone I'm also going to apply some of the products onto my eyelid to prime them and prep them for eyeshadow So, excess products, gonna squeeze it right in here. And as you can see, a lot of extra products right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my cream blush. I'm gonna use the, the Color Fix Max from the Nessa Myrix. This is in the shade Carrot Top. I'm just gonna apply a little bit at the back of my hand and I'm gonna use my brush. This brush is from Morphe. Just going to use the bottom of the brush to just apply this onto my cheek. This is matte, so what you want to do is blend out the products as soon as you apply it. So this is a cream blush if I didn't mention. I'm just applying that right here. It looks a little crazy, but it's gonna come together soon. I tell you, when you're applying cream blush, you need to be bold. So I think I'm done with applying my cream blush. I'm gonna go back in with my brush that I used to apply or blend out my contour. As you can see, I keep going back and forth with brushes. You're gonna see me do that a lot. I go back in with brushes and not products because remember, piling on too much products is gonna make your face cakey and that doesn't give 
flawless airbrushed the amount of products that you intended to go into your or onto your face with is still left on the brush so that's not any extra products it's literally products from your brush am i making sense <laughs> I hope I am honestly um, so what you want to do next is to set I have a creasing problem I always say this I crease under my eyes my eyelids as you can see I'm already creasing and then my smile lines everybody has creasing problems if a concealer or foundation says it doesn't crease I don't believe it because every concealer I've tried the creasing anti creasing concealers all crease on me because I'm oily and yeah it's not bad it's not bad I found a way I around it so that's great I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty easy bake powder so if you crease you are creasing girl you have creasing problems do not despair do not be sad because it happens to the best of us so what you want to do is to set where you crease first deal with those areas and then you can deal with the other areas later so I'm gonna go back in with my brush this is the brush I used to blend out my highlights I'm just going back in just blending This doesn't ruin anything on your face it just literally straightens everything out you honestly want to do this step before you set because if you don't do this you're going to set creases equals no flawless airbrushed base I'm gonna dip my beauty blender into my powder don't forget to squeeze off any excess product from your beauty blender when you put it into the powder you want to tap off the excess and you want to push it under and on top of your eyelids specifically where you crease um, so if you crease around your mouth you want to set that area first so I'm gonna keep doing what I do I'm gonna push powder around my mouth as well cause you know breathing and I'm gonna push powder here as well my forehead is literally the last place that I like to set and my nose because I don't crease there at all deal with the areas of concern I'm just going to keep setting my face For the rest of my face, I'm going to use a pressed powder. This is more or less close to my skin tone. And you want to use a brush like this. This has become one of my favorite brushes. This is the face finish brush from Zoeva. Great for bronzing, great for powder, great for blush. Also, this brush I got recently, as you can see, they're kind of identical. This is the all over powder brush from Evita Joseph. Great, 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 great quality also the powder brush from real techniques is so bomb for applying powder all over the face so they are dense they are flexible they are fluffy which is great it picks up product and it just spreads it evenly onto your face which is what you want to do so I'm gonna go in with my Sephora micro smooth powder this is in the shade mahogany so I'm gonna leave the brush <sighs> Oh my god, I just saw some exciting news on my phone. Okay, I'm gonna dip the brush into my powder just like so and what I want to do is, you know, just push that into my skin setting all over my face now if i use a foundation that is not so matte that is on the creamier glowy side i would use a setting powder to set all over my face before i go in with a pressed powder because i'm oily i need to set those creams <laughs> otherwise they're gonna move all over my face and that is not the goal complete red flag <laughs> everybody's so obsessed with red flags these days what i'm gonna do next is to apply my bronzer i'm using my cover girl bronzer this is in the shade ebony I'm using my morphe m527 brush to apply that so you want to dip into the bronzer and tap off the excess and you want to you know just go in here Literally where you applied your cream bronzer. That 
that's about it for bronzing i'm also going to do my nose um i'm using my aoa studio e125 brush i'm going to start down here and i'm gonna bring it down the sides of the bridge of my nose So what I'm gonna do is to bake. I love to bake. Baking is not for everybody. Also, I'll show you guys how to get the best out of baking. I'm using my sponge to, you know, kind of put the powder on my skin. But first of all, I use the powder to clean up my nose contour. So what you do with baking is not that you push it into your skin but you push it on your skin so that it literally just sits there we push the powder in to set the cream products so the cream products are set but baking gives you like an extra assurance or baking is more of insurance especially if you're oily when you use a lot of cream products this is a, the best way to kind of hold your makeup together you know um there's so much information on the internet i always suggest that you try things out and figure out what's good for you i'm also going to do reverse contouring just to clean up the bronzer a little bit also slightly bake my smile lines For today's eye look, we're gonna do something really simple. I'm gonna use the Evita Joseph X Jessica eyeshadow palette today. I'm gonna use the shade Truth and the shade K. I'm gonna put Truth all over my eyelid. So I'm going in with my bronzer as a transition. I'm gonna do some sort of reverse smoky eye thing. So I'm gonna use this eyeliner from Shaded Beauty. It's really black. Just gonna tight line with that. It's gonna make the bottom a little more dramatic. 
pick a top as well so what I'm gonna do is to go in with a tiny brush I'm gonna go in with this brush from Morphe this is the M213 brush and I'm gonna go in with the lady in black from this palette I'm gonna just dip into it smoke this out And I'm just going to bring it up here. So I'm going to do the same to this side. I'm going to go in with the bronzer and I'm just going to smoke out the bottom part. I'm pretty much done with the bottom part of my eyes. Now I want to create a wing. So this was definitely like a risky move, but I love, I love this eye look. It's so bold and it's so different for me. Like I wouldn't do this, <laughs> trust me. I'm gonna show you guys how I wipe off fallout and the baking powder, not baking powder, but the powder that I used to bake. So I use the setting brush from um, Real Techniques. It's just like a fluffy brush, not too dense. So what I do is I literally just flake the powder from under my eye any fallout that is that's what i do and then i go in and just literally blend the rest of the setting powder i use a small brush so that like i can go into all the corners and then i go over my nose my small lines so I'm not dusting the powder off. I am literally just blending it into my skin with a precise brush. And then I go back in with my brush that I used to apply powder all over my face. This brush from Zoeva. I just literally blend everything into my skin. The cream blush is literally still showing like I don't know if you guys can see it it's very pigmented so the next thing I like to do is apply my blush I use the same brush that I used to apply my bronzer to apply my blush I'm using the Juvia's Please blush in the shade Bella I'm just going to dip my brush into it and tap off the excess because this stuff is pigmented I'm gonna apply it upwards smile Apply a little bit on my nose and yeah pretty much it for blush so the next thing I want to do is to set my face I'm gonna set my face with my Morphe continuous setting spray I love the setting spray not for keeping my makeup in place but to kind of melt everything together if you have oily skin this setting spray might not be for you there's a matte one so you can get that one if you want to keep your makeup in place but this is mostly for keeping the powder mixed into your skin and looking airbrushed and then i just go all over my face 
just to set it now everything looks nice and set so, my camera died on me while applying my highlighter but i use my mac mineralized skin finish in the shade gold deficit i Applied it onto the high points of my cheekbones, my the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my brow bone, and my inner corners because I love inner corner highlights. For my lips, I'm gonna use my go-to nude lip combo. This lip combo is so divine. I love it. I'm gonna use my NYX lip liner in the shade Espresso, and I'm gonna go over it with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Berlin. And I'm gonna go into the center with my Huda Beauty Nude Lipstick in the shade. What a beauty bullet lipstick in the shade board meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. you guys enjoyed this video i hope the tips i shared with you guys were helpful thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next one take care guys happy holidays